Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's been another month. Can't believe it. I think I say that every single time. Um, it's been a busy month. Lots going on. I think May is going to fly by because I'm working a lot and there's a lot going on. Lots of activities that I am going to be doing. So it's just going to fly by. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. No sickness. No, none of that. Hope the sun is starting to shine where you're at a little bit more. It seemed like spring took its sweet time getting here. We've had lots and lots of rain for our area. We had quite a few snow showers. Uh, it just took forever for spring to finally get here. And now it finally has. You can see because the sun is shining from that window over there that we finally have some sun. Um, I was finally able to get out and get some like yard work type stuff done and I'll talk about some more of that later but it just took its sweet time getting here before I could get outside stuff done as well as just enjoy the sun yeah so um, let's jump into what's been going on I'm going to talk about some things that we did before I get into the stitching stuff <clears throat> So last week, I can't believe already we're talking about last week because it's almost been a week since we got back, we went to Disney. I'm going to interject photos throughout this little discussion of what we did. So I'm going to put one in right here. And that was the castle at night, really pretty. It's much smaller than the Florida castle. If you haven't been to Disneyland, um, I, I think it's the smallest of all the castles. Well, I take that back. Hong Kong is pretty small too. It's, it's very similar to the Disneyland one in California. So it's not as tall as most of the other castles are. Um, but it was very prettily, pretty lit up at night. It was very nice. The weather was pretty good. It was comfortable during the day. Um, there's probably only one day, maybe two, that we were um, getting a little warmer in the afternoon. So it was probably 80s, the low 80s, um, a couple of days. And the other days it was mm, a little more comfortable in the 70s, maybe low 70s even. And what we were expecting, just didn't think because we don't live down there, it got very cold at night <laughs> for most of the time. So um, it's very close to the coast. If you look at the picture where L.A. is, because it's right, so, you know, it's in Anaheim, so it's right outside of what L.A. is, the proper L.A. Um, and that's very close to the coastline. And so the offshore breezes come at night. Um, like late afternoon and into the evening the wind would blow a little bit more and then when the temperatures drop and even though they may be in the 60s it got cold i wasn't planning for that i brought a light sweater and that was great for the mornings but it was not enough for the evening when it, the temperatures were colder with the wind so i ended up having to buy a coat <laughs> oh well i really didn't buy a whole lot of stuff while we were there so i guess that was my you know, main purchase while we were there. Um, but it was lovely. So one of the characters I got to meet, I'll put that in here. Yeah, she's one of my favorites. Um, Merida. Yeah, from Brave. I really, really like her. She's so, she's awesome. Um, so didn't see a lot of characters. I mean, we did saw some, but we didn't we didn't try to get in line. I'm a very odd thing about the Disneyland characters is there are some places where they will stand and people will wait in a queue in a line to to greet them. But there's several that will just kind of wander around and you can just, you know, if you happen to be near them, you talk with them and they may just, okay, let's stop and take a picture here. And that's kind of what she was doing. She had been taking a picture with somebody else, and I said, can I take a picture with you? And she said, sure, walk with me. And so we walked and talked for a tiny bit, and then we stopped and took a picture, you know, with the carousel behind us. So that was that's different than Florida for sure. Um, 
let's see, what else did we end up doing? Um, I'm going to put in a picture of my favorite ride. That is what used to be called the Tower of Terror. It is now for the California one. So Florida still is the same. California one is now called um, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. So it's all Guardian of the Galaxy themed. Um, don't get it confused with the new Guardians ride in Florida because that's more of a roller coaster and this is like an elevator drop type of ride. I love that ride. Florida, California, it's like top of my list um, for rides. Yeah, I love it. Um, there was one night, so we went with another couple. They're about 10 years older than us. Um, and there was one night when they all wanted to go back to the room a little early, probably around seven-ish or so. And I wasn't ready to be done for the night. Our hotel was, once you got out to the main street from where the kind of the courtyard um, so you got California Adventure on one side, Disneyland, and there's this courtyard in between, so you can kind of walk back and forth to get to the entrance of either one. And then right side, out, right outside of that is where the buses stop, and you walk about a block or so, maybe a couple blocks, to get to the main road that's that runs past Disneyland. And we were about two blocks down from that, long blocks, but two blocks. So it's we just walked, you know, when we went to the parks. They went home or to our room and I stayed and we were in the uh, California Adventure side that night. We, we did have hoppers so I could have gone over to the Magic Kingdom side if I wanted to but we were on the California Adventure side and I had a couple of fast passes that I could use at the Tower of Terror. So once they left I used both of them for you know I went on that ride. And in the California Adventure, they have the Avenger Campus. So that's kind of a little section within it that's all Marvel-related stuff. And so they have a new ride there. It's called Web Slingers. So it's Spider-Man related. And basically, you just fling your arms out like you're shooting. You know, you could do the little hands if you wanted to. Like you're shooting webs and you're trying to hit things with it on the ride. Really, really fun ride. Um, I discovered they had a single rider line. I did not know that in the other times that we've been around. So I found out for that night, it was like 15 minutes to get on to the ride to wait, which is so much faster than the regular line. And even what they call the lightning lane, which used to be called fast pass, it was even faster than that, I think. So it was, I went on that two more times. I was going to go do some other rides. Um, the car racing in Cars Land, um, Radiator Springs, I think is what it's called. Um, they have a single rider line too, but it was quite a bit longer. So I didn't end up doing that. Just wandered around, took pictures, the nighttime pictures, all that. And um, then ended up finally going back to my room. And I felt safe enough walking back. I know you're thinking it's LA, but it's, you know, it's not downtown LA. And there's a lot of people that are out walking back to their rooms or wherever. And so I was not alone when I finally walked back home. There were other people around me. So that was a lot of that fun. Was, you know, our trip, we had a lovely, lovely time. Um, yeah, I, I really, really had a lot of fun. So that was last week. And now we're back into the groove of working and doing other things now. <laughs> so one of the other things I decided to do in past month, I don't think I had this the last time I showed the video, is, well, part of it I did. I showed you that um, when I had went to Wisconsin, we kind of all had little gifts for each other without realizing we were going to do that. And one of the gals had got bracelets for all of us, and now we have our new name for our gang. And I started thinking it was, it was lovely, but my best friend here, her and I, we should have something. We should have our own little bracelet. So, um... This is what I gave her. If you didn't read the card, you need to back it up just a tad and read it because it was pretty funny. I was looking on, you know, just general 
things that you could include that are, you know, about your best friend type of thing. And all of them were very sappy for the most part. And I'm like, I don't want sappy. That's not either one of us. So I found that one and I thought that was very appropriate for both of us. <laughs> you know, octopus on your face kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I ended up and I've got, I've, we both have one. I'll show you. And it is, you can see it in the picture as well. There's a sandal and a little starfish here and little blue beads with the silver as well. So I, and I did put a little, it's like a little gem type end for the bracelet. It's not showing real well. It's, I don't know if it's gonna show. A little sparkly um, gem type thing for the end of the chain that holds, when you hold it together. Um, so I made those. Yeah, I couldn't find things that I really wanted and I have all the tools and most of the supplies. I like, I can make it myself. It's not, it won't be too bad. Can't be that bad. So um, each of these I had to make. So it's, you know, one end is already looped, but then you have put these beads on and you have to cut down the other side. I'm going to take it off so that I can... Um, talk to you about this a little, a little better than last than what I'm doing now um, so let's see if the camera is gonna focus yeah maybe not but it's got a loop on each end to connect each thing so you have to you know bend that one side over because it's straight and then there's chain, which I have a long string of chain. So I just add a chain and then cut it down and have the next section and whatnot. And then I just added these. I'm not sure why my camera is not focusing on this stuff too close, I guess. And then you just added these with some rings for the bracelet and everything. And then I had a little bit, so I added, this is called lobster clasp. I added at this end, of the, the links are bigger. You can see that. So they're bigger so that it has a little bit easier chance to hook on to that, lob, you know, get the lobster clasp through those holes. Um, and then, of course, added the little dangly, there it is, the little loveliness at the end. So I made these because she loves, loves, loves the beach. That is her favorite place to go. Um, I mean, I love the beach, too. But I think, sorry, I'm looking down while I'm trying to talk to you. I think um, my more favorite go-to place is like when I go on hikes and I'm in the, you know, a well, it can be not paved, it can be dirt, but a groomed, you know, well-used uh, hiking path. Um, that is much more of my being around trees and um, water and things like that. That is probably top of my list, but the beach is very close to that. So I thought, you know, that's her thing and I like it too. So, and a lot of times, especially for my birthday, I take a birthday trip and I will go to the beach because it's in January and I can't be out hiking and in nature in January. It just doesn't work. The weather's not cooperating for that. So usually I end up at the beach. So yeah, that is what I ended up doing for us so that we could have our own little special bracelet too. And with that, let me see what my next thing, what I was going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to finally get into my whips now. So now we get to get into stitching stuff. Yay! So we're going to attempt to do this without dropping everything. Um, first of all, I'm going to tell you I'm not going to show my hate this time because... With our trip last week, I didn't have a chance to work on it. Obviously, we we're gone. And there might have been another week that I didn't end up working on it for some reason. I don't remember why. Um, so basically, I probably had about two weeks worth of work on it. And not that I didn't get stuff done, but it was mostly like really dark, whether it was really, really dark blue or black, fill in for where the shelf actually sits. So there wasn't a lot that I would need to show you. So I'm just... Uh, one other thing I forgot to put in last time in the last video was the stitching piece that um, all of us, the girl gang, are working on. So I had picked out a pattern where we are stitching girls and everybody is stitching their own girl. And so it's passing around from person to person. 
when I went out to Wisconsin, they had it out there because um, Pam had had it last and we were just gonna pass it on to one of the next girls while we were all together instead of having to mail it. So I took a picture of what she had added to it. So now it's got me, it's got Jody, and it's got Pam on there. Linda has it now and she's gonna give it, well, I don't know if she's got it or if it moved on to Vicki yet, but Vicki will have it after that. And then once those two are done with it, then Nora can add to it. So I don't know if, like I said, if Linda's finished and Vicky's moving on, um, or if maybe Linda's going to have it finished to bring it to StitchCon and give it to Vicky at that time. They live in the same town, so it's not like they have to be, you know, in StitchCon or somewhere else to pass it on to each other. So I don't know. It would be great if they were both done and they could pass it on to Nora, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not um, because it does take a bit. Pam went really fast with her, so I just don't know if it's if the other girls have had enough time to be able to work on it or not. So I'm gonna put that in now. So as you can see, it is so nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's it's great. It's great. And there will be a saying on it once all of them are done. I will add that to it. Um, but it's sturdy now. So cute. Because I've told them, you know, obviously use the size guide, the pattern for the size and where the arms are placed. But you do your hair and you do whatever clothing design you want to put on there. It doesn't, you know, if you wanted, I, I figured most of them were going to do dresses because there already is a pattern for a dress. They can just kind of change it to whatever style they want it to. Uh, the pattern had three different styles on it as well as three different patterns of material, but they can mix it up and do whatever they wanted without this, their person. So it's, it's turning out really fun and I really, really like it. I can't wait until it's completely done. All right, let's get into some other stuff. Now this piece that I'm gonna show you first is one that Nora and Pam and I are doing together, kind of as a stitch along. And we're doing really well, we're moving along. We started this New Year's Day. So this is a you know New Year's start. And it was this one. So it's called This Is The Day, Plum Street Sampler. We're all getting, we're all doing really good in our progress. It's, I don't think anybody's really lagging behind somebody else. We all started in different places, so we have different, different parts of it finished, um, but we're all getting down there. It's getting down to the end now. So here's what I've done so far. Yay. So I've gotten all of this side of the upper part done, as well as you can see, I'm working on the roof. Any parts that have big sections that are all the same are kind of monotonous, and it is. I tried to do um, one strand of my thread and then do something else and then come back to the roof and do another strand. But um, yeah, I'll show up close so you can kind of see some of it a little bit better. That goat. Now, I don't know what the idea with the goat is. I'm not sure if that is supposed to be his tail, kind of the projection trajectory of him leaping or he's pooping. <laughs> Can't quite figure it out. <laughs> oh my. Um, anyway, um, the bees are adorable. Those bees are absolutely adorable. But the bricks, holy moly, those took forever. You can see there's a ton of different colors. So lots of shades of, of brick. Um, but yeah, it, they took forever, but yeah, it's getting there. So I have, like I said, all of the flowers and stuff done on this side. There'll be a little bit more on the other side of the house. And then down below is the same as well as a little bit of flowers. Um, but it's getting there and I have started cause we usually show our progress. It was our Sunday night stitch project for all of us. And we would usually show pictures to each other how we've done, what our progress was. And um, somebody, you know, I don't know how it got started, but it, 
popped in my head. It's like, wouldn't it be great if we could put the last stitch in on each of our pieces while we're at StitchCon and ring that bell together? So now we've made this our focus piece. So we're not just stitching on um, on Sundays anymore. <laughs> um, and because, you know, it's, it's about a month away, I really do need to make it my stitch, my focus piece because, you know, there's still a bit to do and it's deceiving how long it takes to do some things as we all know. So yeah, that's what I'm work. That's kind of what I'm going to focus on <laughs> for the next couple weeks. Um, I, I know I will step in and do some other things because there's some other things I still need to get done, but that's going to be the primary focus. All right. The next piece is this. All right, and I've showed you this um, over time, what I have been getting done. So I'll show you now the progress. Look at all the cherry blossoms. So I think I had most of that big one done last time, but I've added a lot more of the smaller ones. There is going to be another big clump up here of open blooms like this one up here. And then there's a, another couple of little small ones along here. And then this trails up um, to the border and so I'll still need to do this border stitch as well but it's so pretty I love cherry blossoms it's so so pretty and then this um, this faint flower here there'll be another one over here just like that I mean it's smaller but it's it's just pretty much the same thing so there is that project that I have done. Let's set those down. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's for that. All right. And then this is going to be um, one of the things I'm going to have to work on to get it prepared and ready for my trip is find joy in the journey. And this is going to be the one that I take with me when I go to StitchCon. And I'll explain that in a minute, but I'm going to show you the progress. And I don't know if I can show you the whole thing in this. Oh, just made it. So, as I had mentioned, I said I was just going to do the upper half of the states. And then I was going to do this kind of watercolor effect. And this is what I mean by that. So I made it very irregular, and then I just blended down the browns to just kind of fade down. And I'm going to do that all the way across. So I've got it. I want to have that watercolor effect type thing done um, before I leave. And then what I will do, because I told you this before, I'm driving out there. <laughs> so starting over here in Oregon, and I will put a, you know, like a stitched path as I drive all the way across all the way over here I can't get my finger on it so all the way over here and then as I travel back because I'm going to take a different route I'm going to go so I'm basically going straight across through Nebraska Wyoming stuff like that but I'm going to drive up into Wisconsin Minnesota North Dakota Montana and then come back down that way on the way back so I will have two different stitched lines um, if I can, and I'm just, I'm running out of time, if I can figure out a symbol for each of those states that I'll be driving through, like Oregon's called the Beaver State, if I can find a small beaver to stitch in that, the, the space that the state represents, um, I would do that while I'm, while I stopped for the night, um, I would stitch those things. So I kind of want to stitch as I go. Each place I stop, I'll add my stitched lines for my driving as well as whatever I'm going to do for that state. I just don't know if I'm going to have time to have it all that part ready. So, we'll see. We'll see. You just you just never know, do you? Um. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Oh, yes. The next one is this one. So I've gotten quite a bit done. I'm getting so that I'm probably at least halfway done, if not more. So I'm trying to put my paper behind it and get the fabric out of the way. Oh gosh, and of course it's not cooperating very well. There we go. 
So I've gotten all of the blue and it's hard to tell, but the stars do have this cream color stitching in them. All the little spots here don't. They'll just stay the color of the fabric. Now, on this side, you see there's some bigger spots here. I think that one just stays blank. It doesn't have any stitching, but most of the time, they'll have this satin stitch that fills it up. So I've got a few here, okay? I've started the alphabet here, and remember in the pattern that the big letters will spell out glory and they will be full X stitches, not just back stitching like these letters were. So that is what I have done so far with that. It's coming along very nicely. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and let's see how many I've got here. I think I've just got one more. So this actually has, it's kind of a weird one because these are really small. And um, I've got six, I believe. So it's kind of a finish and kind of not at times. I know, that's, that's perfectly clear, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that was, this is the one I showed you last time. And this is Fairy Castle by Shannon Christine. There's a whole bunch of these little miniature type houses and they each have a different name. So this one is called Fairy Castle. And I finished this one. So very pretty. The light is kind of washing out my fabric. It's a little bit more greenish blue than this. Um, but as you can see, there are beads. They go around the windows and in the windows for the sashing is Krynik. So I have a little bit of that. The door handles also have beads. So that is what I have done so far with that. I mean, not so far, but that one's finished. I just need to FFO it. And I'm not doing that yet because I'm not sure. I kind of want to finish them all similar, but it's, I just, yeah, I don't know. So the one I have moved on to is this one. And this is called Watering Can House. Of the same type of series. And I'll show you how much I've gotten done so far. So the spout kind of comes up. We got the handle here. So there's a lot of white in there. It's not, I mean, you can see the white, but it's just not giving you a lot of detail yet. I love the shutters. Those are really, really cute. So I'll show you again what it's going to look like. So yeah, I haven't gotten a lot done. So that is what I'm doing with that. All right, let's see what the next thing is. I have to film these in segments so that they're not super long. Otherwise, they don't want to um, you know, upload into my phone, and therefore, I can't upload them onto the computer. So if you see gaps or cuts into the, the filming, that's why. The other thing I wanted to point out with stitching stuff is something that Jody had sent all of us. Um, she didn't tell us she was doing this. It was a lovely little surprise. I just got a text at one point saying, there's a surprise coming. <laughs> oh, and I think within a couple of days it arrived. So she had already sent it before she remembered to send that text. So she had sent a framed photo of all of us from when we were there in uh, Wisconsin. So I had showed you this. Um, let me get it so there's not as much of a glare. Showed you this uh, picture from last month, um, so a lovely little frame. And then she had stitched this really adorable piece. And so that is the name of our group now. And then she'd put, you know, the pin and uh, pin cushion with the scissors and this lovely floor around it. I put this really pretty stuff. And then there's the back, nice little felt back covering for it. Um, so a little, with a little hanger. So I am going to put these two together somewhere. I just got to find a place to put them in my house. But um, that was a really lovely, lovely surprise that she sent to us. Okay, let me think. What was I going to do next? Let me look at my list, shall we? Um, oh, yes, the next thing. Um, as I have been doing, I put in a little video with the planner pages for the month. So I am going to insert that now. Again, if that's not something you want to watch, you can fast forward through it. 
but here is that. All right, here is the month of May planner pages. I hope you all are enjoying these. Um, again, as I've mentioned in the video, if you aren't interested in this, you can always fast forward and skip through this part and you don't have to worry about it. Um, but in case you're interested, here you go. Uh, so the first week I have done obviously a coffee theme. Um, I've done a couple of things here. Uh, one is, I'll show you the main um, sticker pages. Okay, so this is actually a little bit smaller version. There's a larger version, so you can see the difference in the size here for these two. Okay, um, so this is pleasantly planned. You can kind of see up there at the top. That is who um, makes these. It's called Coffee First. You can kind of see it's cut off a little bit, but um, you can go to the pleasantlyplanned.com and be able to find um, all of her available stickers. So I've used this as my inspiration piece. You can see a lot more of the um, stuff that came with it. So some flowers, floral stuff. We've got the hands holding the coffee. you got the coffee cup. This is okay, but first coffee, um, as well as a bunch of other stuff. A few things that I've added that were not in part of that group was, and I think I've showed you these before. This is from the washi tape shop. It comes with individual different things. Oh, I think I'm getting blurry here. Um, different things here. So like these coffee cups, some plants as well as like coffee plants. So I added those in there to give a little something different. I also had, and I'm going to show you this in the next page as well, but this book, this is another um, collection I like to get from, so Amber Plans Her Day. Uh, this is a newer one, Rainbow Florals Collection. In the very back is this page, and they're all strips. I know it looks like a full page, but it comes off like this. So it comes off in individual strips. I've just torn them and made them to the length that I wanted. So I use that as well as um, some different papers. So like this and the brick look. So I've got that over here and then the polka dots are here as well as on this side. The boxes, I made those myself. Now, the only thing I wish they were a little better on was the thickness of the color for the box. But what I ended up doing, we do not have Windows, we just have the Google Docs type thing. Um, and so I just went in there and made the size of the box I wanted as well as then just picked the colors that matched with this. Now, the set colors were not the correct colors, I think, for any of this. Maybe the gray, but I went in and did custom colors for the rest of them. So you can do that if you don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of different sticker boxes. You can kind of make your own. Just note that if you're using something like the Google, it's not going to be really thick, or at least I haven't found a way to make them thick. Um, but they're kind of nice there to add that, those little boxes if you want those. The next one is this, and this is coming out of this book as I had mentioned. So it's it's really nice book. I'm gonna find the correct page even though there won't be much to show you. Um, so there's what's left of this page. But they come with a page of boxes that's in the color scheme for that, as well as, let's see if I can find where it's at, um, a page of sayings. So the ones I haven't used prove them wrong, and then you got like appointments, errands to buy, cancel, currently loving, feeling, planning, all that kind of stuff. I could, um, if I felt like it, I could add them to the pages as well. But you can see I've already used a lot of them. So all of these are things that were on that page. So I got a lot of use. I think I found some paper to be able to rip here, and then I also put pieces of paper here, some purple, because this was more like a peachy it was it did not go well with this color scheme so I wanted to cover up the center part of this page all right let's go to the next week this is a fun one so you can see the peachy color here it just would not have looked well with the purple but it works perfect for this page with this one again I used some papers 
so I've got the green here to tear across to make it kind of look like grass. I also had this big piece here, this full length here, um, left over for stump something. Um, I will show you again. This is from the Pleasantly Planned, and look, there's so much to show you. <laughs> it's called Spring Gnomes. That's the series that, that this is. So I have used, if not all of them here, I also have another smaller planner that um, I also use, and I might have used some of them in that, but I did end up using all of them, obviously. This right here and this was one big long strip that you probably could have put along the bottom or somewhere, and I just made it shorter and used it in a different way. So don't always think that just because you have one big long piece that you have to use it the way it is. Um, the color boxes, some of them I've made, so I had like this orange paper and I just put some white over it along with this one. I think this blue is the only one I it's actual a sticker um, from a sticker book for this purpose. So yeah, a little bit different. I just made everything kind of down here instead of kind of mixing it and making, you know, different designs all over the place. And I think our last week is this. Now, this is obviously a little different as well. This paper is um, paper I found when I went on my trip to Wisconsin. So we were at a store and they sell all kinds of art stuff. And this was one of the papers I just loved. Uh, I also got another paper, different coloring, different look. Um, and we'll see if that comes into play one of these days down the line. Um, I use, now obviously we don't have lots of writing area and boxes, but I can add those as I get closer to this week or as the week progresses, I can always add more writing spaces. So what I used for this was this one. And I think this is a new one. I don't think it's an old one. Um, it's Essential Seasons, in case you want to know what the theme of it is. I mean, you can kind of see the back. There's lots and lots of different things here. So I used the spring section. So you've got this and this, these. This is a letter set, so it's not part of this. It just happens to coincide with this very, very nicely. A lot of these stickers were on, were clear stickers, and I had to put them on white paper and cut around them and then put them on this page. Um, so that's why you kind of have this look. Okay, the other thing I ended up using was this. This is uh, Recollections. I believe Hobby Lobby sells these. Um, and so it has a lot of really cool floral stickers as boxes and just a lot of neat stuff in here. So I used a little bit of that as well. So I've got some accents like here. Um, I think some of these boxes, like this one, one might be from the floral, the, the, this floral box. Um, I can't remember where I got all of them. <laughs> I mix and matched between these two books so I can't remember which one came specifically from which which uh, book for the for the stickers. Um, but yeah, they all have the coloring that works well. There is, because this was a 12 by 12 piece of paper, it was not going to fit once so I cut it all the way to the edges. So this is like a street map, greenish, matched very nice with the colors in here. Um, street map type of paper. Um, that I just I kind of cut into kind of the general shape of what these were as well as kind of this shape over here and just added it to fill in the spots that the, this paper was not going to fill up. So that's why I end up doing that. Um, also, I believe um, I had another book. Let me see here real quick if I can grab it. I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. I actually ended up getting this one on sale. This is an old one. This is Recollections as well. So lots of numbers for the months as well as days of the week. And it's in lots of different, um, let me get to them, styles. So lots of different other stickers as well as months, um, lots of numbers and different things. So I ended up using that to put in the days of the week as well as the proper date that goes with that day. So, um, Something a little different with this one. I always, I, I tend to end up putting a different style in, you know, one of the weeks for each month, it seems like. that's That seems to be the case lately. Um, 
But yeah, that's all of the ones. We'll go back through these real quick so you can see them again. We have our fun gnomes. Pretty purples. And if I can get it to turn our coffee page. So again, I ended up covering the center for this. I forgot to mention that because that, even though these are kind of peachy sh type shades, they're still more brown and it still would have clashed. It would not have looked good. But there, there's those pages, um, the weeks for this month. And hopefully you enjoyed that and got some good ideas. All right, the next segment was my books that I've been reading. I was hoping at the beginning of the year to do two a month and then that quickly became apparent after a couple months that that's just not reasonable with everything that I'm doing and I just have not been able to keep up with that. So if I get a book finished in a month, that's good. So the one that I read last time and I showed you this kind of as a precursor of what I was going to be doing was this. It's called Cruel World. Um, notice the spelling. So that is a stitching related and it's by Monica Ferris. This was based, the story is based in Excelsior, Minnesota, which is a very small town next to Lake Minnetonka. And it's a beautiful little community. I know it because I lived not far from there. And I've been in the little town many, many times. So it was very fun knowing where all these places were um, and just some a connection. To it I really like the story um, I was able to kind of figure out you know of course it's always a guess you're thinking I'm pretty sure I know who did it because it's a murder mystery I'm pretty sure I know who did it until but until you get to the end you're just not 100% sure but yeah I was able to figure that out um, at one point um, something was said and I'm like hmm I think I know um, so that was fun that was a really fun book I am it was interesting enough that I will possibly get more of her books. There are many in this series. Um, I was looking online and it was up into the teens before I stopped looking. Um, cause I was kind of getting an idea, just, you know, the description of what the story was about. Um, and I was looking through several and I was like, okay, well I'm going to stop now cause I'm not going to order it right this second. Um, but yeah, I will probably get more of her, her books cause that was really interesting. So the other thing that I've done now, and it's going to be for my read for this month, and who knows for the coming months, is I actually joined a book club. <laughs> I've never done this kind of book club before. This is totally new, but it sounds like it's going to be a blast. It is called Once Upon a Book Club. So you get, and of course, it's the books are already pre-selected. So that makes me just a little bit hesitant because it's like, Am I going to like it or not? But we'll see. I can always stop, you know, doing this subscription whenever I feel like it. If it's like, oh, I'm really not getting into these books or it's really not quite as much fun as I thought it was going to be. But I'm very excited so far about the first one that came for this month. So you get a book. You get several goodies. And those goodies are not supposed to be open until you reach a certain page. Isn't that fun? Um, and they're, for the most part, they're wrapped up. There's one that's in a plastic so you can see through it. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about with that. Let me set this down. So here's one of them. Page 283. This one is wrapped up in uh, fabric type of stuff. So you don't know what it is until you open it, and you're not supposed to open it until you get to this page because it correlates to that. Um, here is another one. Um, this is, you know, more of a wrapper, wrapping type of thing, but page 97. Now, this one doesn't have a sticker, but there are three, um, three different times when you're opening stuff because it gives you that information some, in some of the other uh, papers that they sent. Um, but it's, I mean, you can possibly guess what it is. Uh, I don't know 100% for sure, but I can guess. Um, but I will wait until I get to that page. And it doesn't have a sticker when to open it, but because I know, um, oh, that's, that's pretty crinkly, sorry. Because I know that there are three pages um, that have things you're supposed to open, 
I'll wait till I get there. Not only that, let me see if I can get to the page where one of them's at. They have put little post-its. Oops, I'm going to have to pick that up. Little post-its here that says open, open your gift now. All right, let me pause you just for a second. One of my papers fell down and I needed to get it and we didn't need to videotape that. Um, so yeah, it tells you as you get to those pages. So that's why I know there will be another one for that one plastic wrapped. Um, but yeah, so that'll be fun. So the book that they had us, it's called Happy Place. Yay! Um, so basically this cup, that's a, it seems to be mostly about these three friends that met in college, became best of best of friends, totally different personalities, but they still ended up becoming really good friends. And they go to a vacation every summer. And one of the exes for the, one of those three friends has shown up. And so there's all these kind of things going on. I mean, I'm not describing it very well because I don't want to read the whole description on the inside, but all the things that are going to go on with that. I haven't gotten very far into it, so I don't know a whole lot to tell you either. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the fun things is they send you this little paper here about the book for things. So they've got a discussion with the author. So they, you know, like questions, where is your happy place? And then she talks about it. And there's, so there's several questions there. They also have questions for you to fill out as well. And notice, so here it says, these are the pages that you will end up getting your gifts on. Um, one of the other things, and I don't know if they'll have this on every single month because this is the first one I've got, but it says, never have I ever, and then all these things to check off. And it's, it's silly things like stayed up all night to finish a book. And so there's a whole bunch of things. What I find funny is the uh, level down here. So if you've checked out zero to five, this is what you are. If you've checked out 15 or more, then you are book obsessed. So that should be fine. I haven't checked those. Off. I haven't read through them yet to see where I fall into the level of craziness. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, I don't remember if they've kind of talked about what the next month will be. Because they, they ship them out, obviously, before the next month is coming. So it'll get there in time for you to have it for your next read. But um, if I get really excited with this book and I'm reading through it quicker, then I do actually have another book that I'd gotten from the library because I didn't know I was going to start this book club. And I am kind of interested in getting started in it. So I don't know if I'll be able to start something towards the end of this month or not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, it should be fun. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about, like I said, is stuff I've been doing outside. The weeds have gotten out of control around here because it's been so rainy for so long that they've been well watered, first of all. And second of all, it's been too cold and wet to get out there and take care of them. So I finally have had some nice days where I have been able to start to take care of them, but I have had other projects that needed attended as well, so I haven't been able to do it as much as I want it. So the main thing that I have started this year, and I think I have talked about it at some point in some of these videos, is I have started making a garden. So I have two raised beds, and um, so it took a little bit of time in between the showers and when I finally had some nice enough days to get outside, construct those, um, and then you had to wait for weather that started to stay consistently warm enough that you can start planting the plants. So, I am going to put a video of what that looks like in here now. And here's my garden. Yep. I've got raised beds. I've got, come over this way a little bit. I've got cucumbers. That's a pepper. Those are peas. You can read the sign or not. Those, there's a bunch of little strips over there, sorry, of onions. Um, these are going to be carrots here. And in this one, I've got some lettuce, tomato plants, ones for um, cherry tomatoes and ones for the regular size. I have zucchini over there, and I think I'm going to have to replant some beans because the seeds are not sprouting. 
so those will probably have to be redone and it's not pretty but I've got these wire bits here and I'm going to have the peas and the cucumbers the zucchini and the beans will all grow up the steaks and then onto this wire mesh stuff so that it can just you know grow all over them um, and that's kind of because they're a lot of like the peas and the beans are trailing type of plants cucumbers and zucchinis aren't necessarily meant to to come up on these um, but I'm going to try to do that so that I can keep them off of the ground a little bit more but um, as you can see they're very nice each of these boxes are six feet by four feet in size um, so yeah hopefully we're going to get a lot of good stuff out of this um, I, we'll, we'll see I haven't done a garden for quite a few years um, but I'm really hoping that all this works out very well. And even though it's kind of the corner of the house, this is the south, south side of our house. And so it does get a lot of sun over here. It gets quite warm. So, um, even though it seems like it's pushed back in a corner, it actually gets a lot of sun here and it will be very nice. I still have a little bit of finishing to do. Um, I, you can probably tell way in the back over there I still need to do something with some dirt because I was leveling this area out um, to be the same as the box around the box level. So I have a little bit of dirt to move before I put some landscaping fabric because that's what that roll is and bark around there just to keep weeds and stuff under control and this mess will have to be taken care of. Um, but I've got bark that I need to move and maybe use in some other places. Plus the pea gravel is actually going to go way over on that part over there. So it just needs to be moved still. But it's slowly, slowly coming along my whole yard. Um, this is just part of it. So yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I haven't done one for so long. So long. We've lived here for like since 2016 so we're talking seven years it'll be seven years this summer i haven't done one then i had a garden in minnesota i i'm trying to remember it's either the last year or the last two years before we moved that i really didn't grow much in it so it's been a good chunk of time since i've had a garden and now that my husband doesn't do carbs we have to substitute different things for the carbs sometimes. Um, one of the big things that we substitute is cauliflower. So if we make rice, I'll make a cauliflower rice type of thing for him. Um, also zucchini. Zucchini is a huge substitute for noodles. So I'll make zucchini noodles. Um, and so that substitutes a lot of things. I am not growing cauliflower. <laughs> Cauliflower is a whole different beast to try and grow, so there's no, I'm not doing that. Zucchini, on the other hand, is pretty easy to grow, so I will be doing that. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait for it all to... It's always fun to have that kind of stuff pop out and be lovely. Um, but hopefully, with everything else I'm trying to get done, I will finish... Oh, there's a stray neighbor cat that is drinking out of the pond that I was just going to talk about. It's kind of fun seeing the animals that come around. So I've, I haven't seen this cat do this before. Um, I've seen the cat, but not drinking out of the pond before. But the birds love it. They take baths. They just, they love it. Um, but I'm hoping to finish the weeds around that area and possibly, now that I've kind of gotten the garden area done, start doing the landscaping around that as well. And I want to have that done this summer because it needs to be done. It needs to be done so I can enjoy it. Um, so that will probably be something I'm going to focus on. But it's just, I've got a lot going on this summer, as I mentioned. So the driving to Ohio is going to take up two weeks. Um, there's camping going on at times, possibly other things. So I just have to fit it in between. My husband does not appreciate having to take care of my outside stuff while I'm gone, though. <laughs> oh, well. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think there's just one last thing 
that I was going to mention. Um, so because I am going to be driving to StitchCon, I've got a lot of stuff going on this month. I'm going to be having that one focus piece um, for stitching. So how much I lay my hands on other things will depend on how fast that's progressing. So because of all that and how busy I'm going to be, and that, I mean, not a lot in June, I probably will not have a video for the end of May, beginning of June kind of time frame. So I probably will not have another video until... I don't know if I'll kind of change my time frame so that I start doing videos more at the middle of the month when I got back or just kind of keep it towards the end of the month. I got a feeling it's going to be closer towards the end of the month because I'm going to be exhausted when I get back and I'm going to need some time to recoup. But yeah, that is what I will shoot for. Um, yeah. So with that, I think we have finally come to the end of the video. I was hoping again, once again, not to have a long video, but I've got a feeling that it is not going to be shorter than any of the others. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be as long as the last one, but you just never, there's a lot of things that I realized that we were going to cover. So we'll see how long this one ends up being since I have to put it all together still. Anyway, with that, I hope that uh, you're going to have a nice month. Uh, if you happen to be going to StitchCon, maybe I'll see you there. Or if you're in the next week, because I'm in weekend A, if you a weekend B, I hope you have a really nice time and um, a lovely visit with all of your friends and find new friends. Find new friends. That's what the lovely part about going there is. Is when I went last year, that was my first time. I knew one person that I sat with at my table, and everybody else was new to me. And now we have become this really close girl group. Um, it's been really nice. So anyway, with that, have a lovely, lovely month or month and a half or two months or however long it's going to be before I see you again. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.